Hey guys, John Loxley here. We'll do the intro first. Environmental Station Alpha, status unknown. Uh, the station was used to preserve unique species and natural environments. It has abandoned, or it was abandoned several decades ago. It is still unclear exactly what caused the station's demise. There were no survivors. However, we have been receiving signals from the station as of late. Investigating the station will be dangerous, but necessary. To avoid casualties, we've sent our most durable explorer robots on the mission. You. Welcome, guys. This, uh, as I said before, my name is John Loxley. Let me adjust the sound here for a second. So this is going to be a new blind playthrough. This is Environmental Station Alpha. You saw Jack kind of running around here. He's being adorable. Uh, oh, I didn't realize the... Um, I didn't realize the intro repeated. That's cool. That's good to know. So this is Environmental Station Alpha. This is a Metroidvania-style game. Um... Released in 2015, these are the same guys that did Baba Is You, and now they're under the developer or a publisher Nala Games, which uh, released Noita, the game about little wizard with the wands and stuff, which I haven't played, but is the same graphical style. So honestly, I don't know. Uh, if this game does look interesting, it is very very simple on the graphics even by pixel graphic standards it is very simple uh, but if it looks at all interesting there is a free demo available on steam um, i'm going to be playing using a controller now it is it is basically a blind playthrough i have played for about 90 minutes you'll see that in a second when we hit continue and choose a, a new save or maybe I'll just delete the, the save data. Uh, regardless, I've also watched the Matthew Matosis video, which... Um, I was going to say, I guess it spoiled the ending, but since I believe there's about six endings... I don't know. Some of the endings, I guess, have been spoiled, but I don't really remember, and I don't really remember playing this game because... I, uh, I get distracted very easily. I have, like, squirrel brain, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> and so unless I'm doing games for the channel, I, you know, I'll play a game for an hour. I'll be like, this is the best game ever. And then I'll be like, what's that over there? And, and totally forget about it. So uh, we're going to be starting a new blind playthrough of this as soon as Jack calms down, which is probably never going to happen. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to I don't know how to pronounce the developers' names, but they're Finnish. So now here's the other thing, right? Is that in addition to this and Baba Is You, if you go to their website, there's RV Takari. His actual website has a bunch of other games. I just checked it out very briefly. I don't know if any of them are free or if they're all paid or what the deal is. Would you like to do something, Jack? Aside from rub your face against the microphone. It's like, he's acting like he wants food and I put the food out and then he's like, no, I'm good. I get up and he gets in my seat and he's like, I just wanted your seat. Which is a, a dick move, but there you go. He's a cat, that's what cats are. Cats are dicks. <laughs> if you have a cat, you know this. Listen, do I need to pick you up? Okay, let's pick you up. I will show you. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Okay. This is Jack. This is one of my babies. One of my children's. He's purring like crazy. He's purring like crazy. All right. All right, little cat. Ugh. Can I, can I play this? I could probably play using a keyboard, but if he's going to be... You know, super pet wanting. Then we'll uh, we'll move on. Um, 
I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about. I guess we'll just I guess we'll just move in. Or jump in, dive in, whatever whatever you want to call call it. Can I uh I love you. I love you, Jack. You were in the way. I, I wouldn't recommend sniffing that. It's probably not great for you. Sweet baby Jesus. I love you. You are annoying, though. Here, let's do this. This is all staying in, by the way. This. <laughs> let's do this. Come here. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hang on. Okay. So I've got you now. You are in my power, little cat. Okay, let's let's go up here. Go up there. Go up there. Okay. Go. Okay. Are you gonna stay up there? Are you gonna stay? Just stay there. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Oh. Okay, I saw the tail. Are you are you gonna lay down? You're sniffing where Manny was sitting earlier, so you're smelling Manny's butt. All right, let's uh let's let's go. Okay, do we want to erase the save? Yeah, let's do that. So you can see how about how long I've played. Uh, file 1 has about an hour and 20 minutes on it, so 80 minutes. Out of the... There's three slots that are taken. Those are the power-ups, I think. Out of... I, don't, I, I can't even count. I don't even know how many that is. And it just went to the intro again, which... I guess is good. It's <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Can I copy it? How do I cancel? Shoot button. That's weird. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just delete this one. That's fine. Hold for two seconds. That's awesome. There it goes. No data. And there goes Jack. All right. Let's uh, let's continue. So. We are basically a robot sent to investigate Environmental Station Alpha, which uh, was abandoned. It was designed as a nature preserve, I guess, right? And uh, it was abandoned. They don't know why, except everyone died. They know there's no survivors, or at least that's what they think. And... Um, now all of a sudden they've started receiving signals. So it's abandoned several decades, so multiple tens of years. So we kind of have a Metroid fusion situation. Um, yeah. I, I guess, oh, start game, start game, not continue. All right, cool, well, we'll choose file one. Now we are using a gamepad, easy or normal. I assume the highlighted one is uh, is what we're going to select. Let's go with normal, which means you're going to get to watch me struggling to beat bosses and stuff. Uh, we are using a gamepad. There is, at least according to the Steam page, there is partial controller support. I don't know what that means. But honestly, I hope the controller is fully functional because if it's not, it's gonna we're going to have a bad time. We go that's our little ship there we are so here it begins now what is the number three right there by the way the graphics are super low pixel i think i mentioned that before but i'm actually okay with that it kind of adds to the charm a little bit also the volume there's no volume settings no, no ability to change the music or, or the sound effects or anything like that. It's all one straight volume. So uh, kind of like System Shock 2, there's always going to be this constant kind of hum. At least that's how it was in my test recording. Um, it's possible we'll go to areas that are totally silent. Uh, I, since this is basically a blind playthrough, I'm going to assume we're not going to try and get all the endings or the best ending. Um, we'll, we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. So here it begins. Did I click the wrong button? Let's try the shot button. 
We cannot use the main entrance because the generators are offline. Okay, is this the ship that's talking to me or... <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess it's, it's from that satellite, so presumably this is Earth, I guess. Be careful though, because there are probably some backup engines run, running. What? When you... <coughs> mm, excuse me. When you enter the station, we will no longer be able to contact you. But what if I come back out here? Won't that be... acceptable? The first thing now is to turn the generators back online. Press left and right to walk, button 1 to jump, and button 3 to shoot. So I'm using the Xbox controller... 360 maybe Xbox 360 controllers the wired one um, because I'm a cheap bastard and I like to not purchase batteries batteries are freaking expensive also the wire uh, actually gives you a little bit of reaction speed as well not that I'm not that I'm into fighting games or anything like that but the latency is a little bit faster so uh, press left and right to walk, button 1 to jump, button 3 to shoot. Okay. You can pause by pressing button 8, which I think is the start button on the controller. This also shows the map and status screens. And there's your instructions. Okay, jump, shoot. It is totally silent right now. No extra hum or anything. Let's uh, see what happens if we fall off this edge. You die. Okay, good to know. Game over. Well, that was fast. Wow. Well, all right then. You know, interestingly enough, in order to advance the dialogue, we had to click the shoot button, but to select options on the menu, we had to choose the uh, jump button. Could not use the main entrance because the generators are offline. Probably some backup engines running. This doesn't make any sense. But then again, they assume it's a threat of some kind. When you enter the station, we'll no longer be able to contact you. First thing now is to turn generators back in line. Okay. All right, let's... Yes. Okay, so I guess that's button 8. Oh, uh, I don't know what the 805 at the top is. Probably our position, maybe? But I can't... Wait, how do I... Five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it, there is some issues, like it doesn't quite move perfectly when I click, it doesn't always respond. That's a little troubling. Status, use left, right to view upgrades and up, down to toggle them. I guess I don't have any upgrades at this point. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. And I can't jump up there for whatever reason. I remember getting a double jump. Or at least in my test recording where I saved, I had a double jump. So, all right, this is dirt. There's the background hum. Well, that's kind of cool, at least. Oh, I uh, thought that was ground. Guess I should have not. And I can go underwater. That's good. Although the jumping is weird. Jumping underwater is weird. That enemy is dead. A nature remember this is like a nature preserve so these are all like endangered species and stuff I'm uh, I guess I'm I'm happy to uh, contribute towards the extinction of whatever right 
This I remember. And then some sort of terminal. I don't know if that thing would have, you know, um, gotten up here and come this way, but let's, uh, you know, shoot it anyway. Uh, so yeah, that passage, this passage back here, uh, falls. It, it falls through. Class C Guardian. Like a boss, right? Spaceship. And I remember, like, the first time that I tried to play this, I remember falling through here and, you know, being like, what happens if I got back to the spaceship? And the answer is probably nothing. Let's see if it gets up here. Nope, it just turns around and goes back. All right. So now I am trapped. Two. Presumably that's button two. I don't know which one it is, though. Uh, it's probably the Y or the B. It's not the jump or the shoot. Let's try B. That it is. Power generator offline. Main battery. Oh, 300. Zero out of 300. What is the three? Is the three the text speed? I don't know. Searching for backup. Backup found. Battery. 121. Oh, battery 121. It has 152 of 300. I don't know how long that will last then. Do you want to turn the power back online? I, it didn't even give me an option. Turn the power on. Alert, alert. Oh, here comes Jack. Please don't jump up here. Are you gonna do this? Listen, if you're, why are you shaking your tail at me? You have food over there. You even just went and ate some, I heard you. Jack's thing is he likes to jump up here and then walk in front of the monitor. Both kitties do that. Uh, Manny is my... If this is your first time to my channel, basically, or... Yep, see, there he goes. You can see his head. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If it's not your first time to my channel, welcome back. Uh, this is Jack. Manny is the other cat that'll show up during these uh, episodes. And um, Manny is the channel banner, right? If you go to the... I don't, I don't even know what it's called. The channel, the videos, or whatever. Uh, you'll see Manny looking all crazy, right? <sighs> see, this is the reason it takes me an hour to get out of the tutorial area, Jack. It's because of you. It's because of you. Would you like to lay down? Or do you want to keep holding your butt up in the air? I wish I was joking about the tutorial thing, by the way. It's it's semi-frustrating, but at the same time, uh, I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of embellishing a little bit. Like System Shock Two, it took me an hour to get out of the the tutorial area because I'm going through all the tutorials and I'm trying everything, and then it gets, you know, and I like to click on everything and read everything and stuff, and and that's just how I do it. And Jack, you are in the way. I love you, but you are in the way. Here's here's what we're gonna do, because I love you. Okay. I love you. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna hold you, Jack. I'm gonna put you up on there. Okay, and please don't jump back down like you're about to do. And then Okay, you're going into the lap. That's good. Come on. Come on. Okay. Listen, I love you. You can see his tail. You can see his tail swishing around. I need you to lay down, Jack. I need you to lay down. How are you guys doing? You know <laughs> How many people has Jack chased away, exactly? How many people are like, he takes an hour to get out of the tutorial area. Screw this guy. That's fine, whatever. I'm playing this for me, Jack. Listen, I love you, but you... It would really help me out if you laid down right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. You're rubbing your face against my hand. That's really nice. I like... I like that. Okay. It... it... <sighs> Alright. 
<laughs> okay, Jack. See, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a boss. Are you... Oh my goodness, you crazy cat. You almost knocked my phone. Because he jumped. He jumped over the, the cord of these headphones. And his feet, his back feet caught it and pulled everything. And my phone was sitting on it and it almost went on the floor. Listen, you, you stay right there, okay? You have food. Go eat it. Okay, alert, alert. Unauthorized access detected. I have authorization. Probably not from the station, though, whatever's going on here. Activating defense system. There you go, well... Alright, I don't... I don't remember how this goes. But I guess it just floats around, drops pellets, and then, uh... So you, and then, uh, crashes down. You can't hold... You can't hold the shot button. You actually have to... Oh. There we go. And I can't go that way. But you can't hold the shot button down. You have to press the button each time you want to shoot. Alright, so I can't go... Oh, there's more, uh... That enemy is back. I'm curious, is it going to hit the top of that uh, one block and then turn around and, and... Yes, it does. Okay, well... So now the monitor in the background is on. Can I do anything with this? No, but I can shoot up, so that's good. I can shoot up and down. Can I shoot diagonal? No. Hmm. Thought I heard something else going on. So this is gonna fall out from under me, I think. No, it's gonna wait till I get in the uh, the middle. Yep, I see. And it just triggers a cutscene. Alert! Alert! Ceiling AI mainframe and surrounding area. And you just straight up fall. And I found a hidden passage, possibly. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but all right. Oh! Interesting. It's so hard to tell, like, what's the background and what is not. But there's a little terminal right there. All right, two. Pillar one has now been unlocked. Um, oh, okay. I can't even tell, like, what are... What are areas I can go to and what I can't. Pillar two. Pillar one? Pillar one. I don't know what that is. That was weird. I, like, stuck to the wall for a second. Presumably... Presumably it has something to do with the ending... Check our status, maybe? Uh, I, I, I don't know. There was some other stuff up there, like, it looked like breakable blocks, which I probably was not able to go through. Uh, this I just kind of... There was some other place I remember that I jumped and I went through the wall, and I was like, okay. And, uh, found an area kind of like that with something similar, but maybe it was that one. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but, but anyway, what do you think, Jack? All right, voices from the satellite. You are too deep into the station. This is our last message. Try to find out what happened there and return to us. Farewell. We're not even that deep. Let's check this out. Oh. Press button two in front of these red booths to save your progress. Saved! Yeah. We got monsters or, you know, endangered species or whatever. 
Well, you can see there's your music, right? Oh, uh, map. All right. Class C Guardian. See, that's where there's breakable blocks, but I thought there was blocks on the other side too. I guess we'll see. S is save point. Unlocker. It doesn't even show a little icon or anything. That's kind of... That's kind of weird. What do you think, Jack? He's sitting there, like, flicking his tail at me. All right. Th wait, what does this button do? Nothing? Do these do anything? Not yet. Okay. All right. Um, I don't... I can't go up there yet, because I... Or can I? Unexpected. Can I... I guess I cannot destroy blocks that I need. Wait, wait, can I swim? Kind of. I can jump at least. This is weird. Oh, that I shouldn't have done. Oh. Wait, I can't... Oh, I can jump on those. All right. Will that hurt me? No. Weird. I can basically... I can't jump through. I can walk through these. I can't walk through those, though. That's odd. No! No, no, no. All right, well... Bam. See, this block looks damaged, but it's not. This makes no sense, but okay then. And there's that dude over there to the right. We'll ignore him for now. You're so cute, Jack. Oh, we got, we got flies or something. See, I love... Even though this is like all, like, terrible, terrible graphics, I feel like the thing was along here somewhere that I jumped through, the secret wall. Um, even though this is like terrible graphics, I, I feel like it has a lot of personality, which I think is weird. It does suffer a little bit from the same stuff that, um, that other games sometimes do, which is this uh, this stuff that I'm standing on now, this this gray background looking block. I thought it was the background. I thought the, you know, because the pipes pop out too much and I really thought that was the, uh, the actual floor. Oh crap. Well, all right, there you go. I guess now we're, wait, uh, oh, the red, the red is probably a save point. Yeah. So you have like a... And the plus, which potentially is a heal point, would be your spaceship. I don't know. Alright, we have another monitor. Can I... See, that's the thing. Is this background or is it not? No. It's not background, but that's that's kind of the thing. Is I always wonder if it is. Here you can obviously tell, but up there I was like, well, I don't think this gray stuff is is background after all. I hope I can break these blocks. I assume that I can, because otherwise I'd be trapped. Um, well, let's try let's try this. Oh wait, hang on. See, again, I didn't... It's... Did I just screw that up? I think I did. Let's try this. And then we'll try... Uh... Ah. Uh. Oh, oh no, this is, this is good. That's good, okay. Excuse me, but the fish got more agitated as I got closer to them, right?
And I don't think killing enemies actually gets you anything. Except maybe a little bit of safety. Well, let's let's go up here and we'll activate this. Warning, dangerous area ahead, access level two required. So we have like some caution tape and maybe what well, looks to be like a door, like the interlocking teeth right here. Great music though. Okay, this is a big computer screen. What's that X right above us? Security computer online, access level two granted. Okay. So here we have a white plus. Strange, it doesn't tell us that there's like an unlocker right here, for example. So this is, I mean, at this point, this is the only thing we can access. Access level sufficient. Ah. Uh, uh, all right. So we go up or we go this way with there's monsters. Oh, that's a big monster. That's a big one. Look at that. That's like the big brother. Do, uh, you know what? Let's not go... Let's try and go up and over. Let's try and go up and over. I was half expecting some of these to, like, crumble. Ah! See, we would have had to go up anyway. I wonder... If we're, maybe if we're wounded, they drop energy for us. And that, they turned to look at us. That's kind of scary. Well, right, like the Metroid style, like fall through one way only blocks. So now we know, now we know that one, not the one below us, but the one just to the left. That will drop us, which is a real dick move. Am I... Okay, well, let's... Woo, yeah, baby. Really? Oh, I guess we go... I guess we go this way, then. I mean, to be fair, now we have access to level 2, so that's gotta be worth something. That could have been bad. Oh, okay. And there's a... Yeah. All right. Okay, that hurt. That hurt, but you know, whatever. Health is refilled at stations. That's good. <clears throat> Very Metroid um, inspired. Because, I mean, this came out in 2015, and uh, obviously, Metroid, the series, has been out for a while since. Like 1984? No. 94? No. Maybe. When did the NES first come out? 87? I have no idea. 94 was like Secret of Mana and stuff, I think. I don't remember. Thirteen and nine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's my position. Maybe this. Hang on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
damn, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this is probably zero. So it probably is my, it, it must be my position. Which, I mean, you know, if I looked at guides or anything would be handy. All right. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I can shoot down without, uh, without doing anything. Will this just open? Access level sufficient? I mean, I already... This must be tied into the same system as the other, right? So, there you go. Let's go down, though. I want to figure out what's... Hello. What is... Is this dangerous? What is this? It is dangerous. Um, oh, but there's something here to the left. I mean, obviously, because there's an empty room, but there's also a passageway. There's a smiley face in the background. What does that mean? Well, I'm glad this blue stuff doesn't hurt us. That's good to know. So if you're wondering why, like, off here, there's, like, blue lines, uh, it's, it's because I tried, like, a back a black background and it blended too much into the game and you couldn't necessarily tell where the edges of the screen were. See, it doesn't say anything, but I feel like there's something here. Games like this, generally speaking, don't have empty rooms. Maybe that's something required for I assume anything but the anything but the first ending is like either new game plus or like secret stuff. You know, I was really hoping that see I feel like up there and to the right is uh, like a hidden door or something. But I was really hoping like dead enemies give you a little bit of health when you're when you're wounded. But I guess not. What is this? What is that right there? Oh well that's that's no good. Oh, I can I can go through here. Uh let's Let's try it. <sighs> yeah. Wherever I had saved on that previous save file, there was some green water and it's it's poison. Or it's acid or something. Energy tank? I can't pause it also. Oh no, oh no. Also first, falling, missing that. Oh crap, I'm dead, aren't I? I'm totally screwed. I might win, it's po oh, ow, 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 ow. It's possible. And you can only kill it when it changes. I'm down to one hit. I may as, I was gonna say, I may as well let it kill me, but. Wow, that's annoying as hell. It's like I miss the... I assume it's an energy tank. I miss that. I, I assume you collapse through anyway. And that's the first boss. Which, apparently I beat. I don't remember a beetle. Do I, um... Yeah, let's... Let's, let's go through and... All right, so we don't need to, like, literally rub against all the walls, which is a habit that I have. And it's also why I guess we don't need to do anything else in here since I didn't find anything the first time. Uh, but that's definitely a habit that I have because I want to explore everywhere. I want to see everything. I want to try and find all the hidden passages. I want to, you know, I want to taste all the schnozberries. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. 
right? So, also, what's the deal? Like, how much of this bottom is wall? And it looks like all of it, actually, which is good. That's good. All right. Access level sufficient, of course. I have a feeling that was opened anyway. Um, can I hit you from here? That was weird, but all right, I'll take it. Oh, and you can kind of move. It's not super easy, but you can move while shooting up and down. Oh, well, that was silly of me. That was the way we went before, right? Let's try going this other way. I mean, generally speaking, the first boss is probably where you want to go, but... Man, I'm losing my mind, aren't I? It, because I was, like, saying something, and then I totally forgot what I was doing. Oh, S. I think that means save point. Right next is more poison and weird... Weird eggs and a secret passage, apparently. Well, hello. Was this the same as what I found earlier? Health upgrade. So what was... Wait, where was I? Probably here. You found a health tank. Max health increased by four. So I did my little test recording, which, I mean, you guys saw the, the save file, right? This is not a secret area. Oh, okay, well, and I had 14 health in that. So the question was, did I never find this or was that thing before not a health upgrade? I don't know. Great question. But yeah, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, like I mentioned, I've I have the attention of a squirrel. So uh You can't go up that way, so presumably you need the double jump. Um let's see is that that's wall. Alright. Do these drops hurt us? No. Good to know. I need to test these things. I never, I never realize, um, I never know if they do or not. Can I get over that way? Mm, doesn't look like it. All right, let us. I guess we're going this way then, right? I and mean, does it? Oh, hang on. Health upgrade. It's not lit up anymore. I assume that means we got it. I was I was really confused why the green thing was a health upgrade. That was... And then I realized it was not one. And that's not flashing either, is it? And in fact, it's uh, also not showing up on the map. Is it fake? It is, isn't it? Right? You, you're like, oh, I'm going to get it. And then you fall through. Next question is, can I jump over? Let's try it. Oh yeah, it's background. Isn't that a dick move? All right, Queen Beetle. Oh, well, all right. Oh, that hurts. It hurts. So shoot the little, shoot the little bugs. It's gonna crash down. It might attack us. 
Okay. And then it does the little stomp, like a skunk, kind of. Shoot the beetles again. And then watch out, it'll fall. All right, we got it. That was... Could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. But now... Green Beetles, that's the boss. I see. Last Sea Guardian. It just shows you the... The little boss thing, I guess. Oh. Oh, is it taunting us with the health upgrade? Is that what... No. No, it opens the way. Well, that's cool. So if you beat it without getting the health upgrade first, it's like, oh, hey, you go, just go here and you just save a little bit. That's kind of neat. That's nice. What's the point of having these little platforms, though? Is this going to fall as well? Is that what this is going to happen? Uh, I knew it. Is this where I fell and, uh, like, went through the left side? Can I? Oh. Um. You found a jump booster. Press button one while in midair to perform an additional jump. I, I did not expect that, though. What's the point of that? What's the point of this? Because you just fall and you're like, oh, I fell. And then you're like, oh, good. Was I not supposed to hit this one? I was supposed to jump over and maybe go that way? Because I think that was where Jump Booster... I think this was where I found like an additional unlocker or something. Let's try, let's try running around. Oh yeah, we got one of the little like things at the bottom. I guess those are supposed to be boots. That's adorable. It's... <laughs> It's, oh yeah, and oh, I, 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 let's restore our health. And they make it so that you cannot proceed unless you have the jump booster, which is, makes sense. Makes sense. It would be nice if I had like, you know, something like the x-ray scope or, or something that just showed, you could get an item that would just show you where all the, the hidden blocks and stuff are. Alright, well, we're gonna try and... Oh, that seems... Oh, that's not a... That's not good. Can I... Um, yeah. Whoa, whoa, what was this? What? How can I not kill this? How can I not kill it? Oh, it's hitting me, though. It hurts. Do we, uh, see if we can... I can't break those blue blocks yet, and I can't get up. Oh, what are these eyeballs? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, let's not go that way. This area is dangerous. Meanwhile, this stupid bug. Oh, there's one of those things. One of those things from, like, Super Metroid or whatever. Okay, we can't go this way either. There must be a power or something where we get the ability to break blue blocks. Armor piercing or something, because, you know... Same thing with this bug. I, I really feel like we should be able to kill it, or... You know, or do some kind of damage, like an upgrade to the, oh, that's, let's go up and then we'll go over and we'll try going back this way. Cause I want to, there was that, there was that stuff, right? Are these going to drop me? Okay. No. I see. It has to be something with this light. Or, I guess it's a light, light bulb. I don't know what it is. You hit it and then it gets rid of the blue blocks or something, but I didn't see a light bulb for those other blue blocks. So who knows? Also, are there more of these stupid little crawler things around? 
The answer is possibly. Possibly. So they, yeah, you beat the queen and they give you a real health upgrade. All right. Uh, yeah, so I went... Okay. Oh! Oh! I saved, right? Yes. Continue. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to screw around with that. No offense. I, uh... You know, time is of the essence. My time and your guys' time. All right. All right, let's see if we can write. Okay. Then we're, what, just going to jump as far as we can, I guess? Okay. Oh, -ho! it's almost like you need the upgrade to get through here. All right, so what is this? It looks like you have to go up. Uh, yeah, all right. Never, um, maybe, um, maybe this one was the one that I found. It's very odd. Right, and then it gives you the ability to just go up there. All right, well, um, yeah, I guess we go, maybe go this way, but probably go one of these, or or these, or or this. We have like what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Possibly over here, seven, eight areas to check out. So we'll check those out. We're gonna have to stop, you know, soon. Like next couple minutes. Yeah, next couple minutes. Hopefully, this episode was good for you guys. Um, I know we kind of took a, uh, a little bit of a slower beginning, but that's unfortunately, or whatever, you know, fortunately, if you prefer, that's a bit normal for my channel. Um, okay, there's a save point right over there, so that's that's good. But this up here, we cannot get. I'm just gonna shoot him in case he just goes off screen and comes back. So I don't know if I'm supposed to fall down through here. I certainly can't go up and over. Oh, okay, well now we know. Oh, Jesus. And uh, yeah, now we know. So, this way is blocked. That way is also blocked because of the blue blocks. Stupid bug. Great music, though. Yeah, and killing things is not, uh, doesn't help. Oh, they just wrap on the edges of the screen. That makes sense. All right. We're going to save. I guess we'll stop. Because otherwise, I'm probably going to end up in an area where I'm not supposed to... Like, so far, I mean, you can kind of see that there's three save points. But what if I go off in here... And there's a save point right here, and I just go up and explore like this whole area, then I'm basically screwed because I'm not finding the one save point that I need. Oh, Jack, you're a cutie. You're a cutie. Um, anyway, guys, that is it for today. That's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, I have mentioned before that views you know, popularity, fame and fortune, all that stuff. That's not really a, a priority on this channel. And you can tell because I'm doing unknown games like this. Like, from what I understand, this is one of those games that's criminally underrated. 
which I think is how I found it in the first place. Like I had found it and purchased it before uh, the Matthew Matosis video. Although I do like him, so it was kind of neat to see him talk about it, even though I hadn't played it. Um, I mean, hadn't really. You know, I played it for like, like you guys saw, an hour and 20, 80 minutes, give or take. Um, but one thing that I like to do at the end of every episode is a, a unique positive moment, which is basically a way, because everyone, everything is so negative, and uh, the unique positive moment, if you, you're actually supposed to write it down, you're supposed to write down three right before you go to bed. Uh, but, you know, we do, I do one per episode, and it's supposed to train your brain because they're supposed to be unique, not like, I had a cup of coffee today, it was really good, and not use that every day. It actually forces your brain, it forces you to search for them, and it trains your brain to focus more on the positive. And so it boosts your happiness. It doesn't make everything better, but it kind of, since everything's so negative, it kind of keeps you in more of a neutral mindset, uh, which is better than a negative mindset. So. There you go. Uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's just the fact that one of the uh, one of the girls I worked with, she had made some food, and um, you know, brought it, and then wasn't really interested in it. It was like a I don't know, some kind of dish with like rice and chicken and shrimp and stuff in it. And she's like, I was I brought this for lunch, but you know, I like the cafeteria food better, so I I was gonna grab some of that. Do you want this? And I was like, sure. So I took it. Um, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.